Έχει αναρωτηθεί ποτέ αν αυτό που τρώω σταίζει τα καρκινικά κύτταρα, ταζει το καρκίνο. Έχει αναρωτηθεί ποτέ. Αν δεν έχει αναρωτηθεί ποτέ, στην πληροφορία ότι το κρέα ταζει απευθεία το καρκίνο, δε απευθεία αυτό το βίντεο το οποίο εξηγεί τι ακριβώ παίζει με αυτό και πώ ταζει τα καρκινικά κύτταρα απευθεία τρώγοντα κρέα. Ακολουθεί αμέσω. We are now finally able to understand how tumors are able to trick our immune system to feed them with inflammation. When we're born and grow up, we have immune cells that attack everything but us, because the ones that recognized us were eliminated. Cancer cells may be mutated, but they're still our cells, so how do they get the immune system's attention? Presumably any B cell that would recognize us was killed off before our birth. That's where xenoautoantibodies come in. Xeno means foreign, as in xenophobia. Uh, auto comes from the Greek autos, meaning self, as in automobile, a self-moving vehicle, no horse required. But how can something be both xeno and auto, foreign and self? Though many tumors, like breast cancer, thrive on inflammation, thrive on this low-grade immune response, the problem for the tumor is that since it originated from normal breast tissue, it doesn't look foreign to the immune system, so the tumor isn't able to evoke the response it needs and wants. That's where new GC comes in. Evidence for a human-specific mechanism for diet and antibody-mediated inflammation in carcinoma, cancer progression. See, new 5GC incorporation by the cancer confers a selective advantage to tumor cells that are best at accumulating new 5GC. By actively accumulating this foreign meat and dairy molecule coming from our diet into the tumor, the cancer may use it to trick our immune system into producing autoimmune antibodies, anti-new 5GC autoantibodies, which leads to the release of inflammatory compounds that enable the cancer to grow faster. The combination of uh, tumor-associated new 5GC and our circulating anti-new 5GC autoantibodies promotes tumor growth by inducing weak inflammation, causing infiltration of inflammatory cells, and enhancing angiogenesis, enhanced blood flow to the tumor. Our own tumors use what we feed on to get what they feed on. So, as I talked about before, since cancer in a sense may be now considered an autoimmune disease, what are the dietary implications, given the fact that most animals produce this tumor promoter? Well, we don't make new 5GC, at least we haven't for a few million years, and neither do plants. So to undermine our tumor sneaky strategy, I guess it comes down to either cannibalism or a plant-based diet, or both, I guess. Importantly, these data are congruent with the decreased cancer risk associated with veganism.